hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I bet you thought I almost forgot because I nearly did. I can't believe I didn't do a monthly favourites video for August. So it's a little bit delayed but these are basically all of the favourites that I've discovered that are either new or I've kind of come back to them and my favourites throughout August. So let's get into the video. Okay, so to kick things off, as I'm drinking it, obviously it got really bloody hot around June time I have a coffee machine and my coffee machine can produce hot and cold coffee so I'm gonna give the cold brew a go and that's what I'm drinking today so my first favorite is of course a little pod of coffee because I'm a coffee addict and don't you all know it um it's the Nes Nescafe uh, Dogusto coffee pod it's a cold brew coffee and it makes a large coffee so you can have it like full size I'm gonna yeah there we go, it's got to focus. Um, I think you get 12 or 16 of these in a box. They're only like 3 99 And they're so strong, they're so yum. And then you can kind of make it a little bit less strong by putting some milk in it. This is my second favourite. Second favourite is some milk. But it's not just any milk, it is a vanilla milk. This vanilla milk has been so nice in my like cold brew coffees as well as in like my porridge and stuff. Like it's so yummy and it's plant based which I don't have a plant based diet as such but I definitely don't drink cow's milk anymore. I haven't for about a year, a year and a half. A lot of the time you can get this on offer for like a pound so it's a really good offer. I'll just quickly read you like the calories and stuff per 100 ml. So it's 57 calories per 100 ml, 1.8 grams of fat, 6.7 grams of sugar. It's pretty bad, isn't it? And then like 3 grams of protein. So the protein in it is pretty high. I never have 100 ml at one time. I think it's like 20 or 30. I'm having it in a drink. And this is what the coffee looks like. So that's the coffee and the milk together. And it is just so yum. Like so, so yum. Can't even begin to explain. So yum. Okay, as I say, I'm fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Let's move on to fashion. Yes, yes, yes. They're so beautiful. They're Steve Madden heels. So that is a designer that they stock in Selfridges. I think it's a Swedish designer. I'm not 100% sure. I have to just search that. I actually posted a picture of me in these, and they replied to my story, asked me if they could put my image on their Instagram. So I'm yet for that to come through, but fingers crossed it does. They are actually quite comfortable. Whilst they've got quite a bit of an arch, and they are like a medium height. All these are a night out like really, really recently, like in Stamford. And um, I found them really comfortable. It lasted all evening. I was drinking quite heavily though, so that might have been why. But I will link them in the description box for you. I think they're still... Um, in stock i know they've got like so what what i what i love so much about these is like the rainbow rhinestone detailing i thought they were absolutely beautiful it's like a pop of color it's like a plain outfit i also thought how nice at christmas time like how nice will that, that actually be yeah these are my favorite i got them in a size six no size seven so i had to size up so basically that it arches and the crossover of the straps it pushes your foot down a little bit, so I would probably advise sizing up. They were only £35, which I don't think is that bad for a pair of heels, considering I've got, like, a massive shoe collection. I think £35 for a going out, out heel isn't too bad at all. I will link it in the description box below for you. Okay, so moving on to beauty. We have just one item this month. Um, I think a lot of my favourites last month were a lot of makeup based ones, but this month seems to be like food and lifestyle. I don't know what that says about me, but hey. So my next favourite is actually a blush palette. Now I bought this a considerably long time ago. I think Holly Boone recommended it in one of her YouTube videos. I used to watch Holly Boone quite a bit when I was trying to learn how to do makeup and stuff. So this Nip and Fab palette it was only like £10 and it's got like four, let me open it, it's got four tones of pink. I tend to use this one the most and then sometimes this one. I actually think these two would work really well as an eyeshadow. So I could probably mess around with that and let you know how I get on with it. But because sometimes eyeshadows don't blend particularly well. But as this is like a blush formula, like it's meant to meant to like blend obviously on your cheeks. 
I can imagine it blends really well as eyeshadow. I was kind of scared of it initially. I was kind of scared of wearing blusher, whereas now, like, I fully embrace it. Like, I absolutely love blusher. I know they stock this at Superdrug and also Boots. So I would definitely recommend picking it up. And the names of it are really cute. So this one is called Tickle Pink. This one's called Plum Tart, Crimson Girl, and Perfect Coral. So, yeah. I mean... If you don't get it for the colours, get it for the name. So, moving back to, I suppose, lifestyle. So, I shop at Aldi occasionally when I can bother to go because it's much farther away than what Tesco's is. I used to shop, I used to shop at Aldi all the time because it was, like, a lot closer, but it's not where I live now. So, anyway, we digress. Um, I picked up their pomegranate range of their diffuser, and I've had one, like, within not my last shop but my shop before and I popped it in my bathroom and my housemate was like oh is that Joe Malone I was like no no it is an Aldi special guys it does smell a little bit like Joe Malone I'm not going to say it smells like Joe Malone but it has that kind of like fresh chic smell like you smell it and it's not like pungent and like in your face it's a very subtle smell but a little bit does go a long way i think one of these so i'll just show you like the size of it so you can kind of get an idea for what you're buying so it comes in it's a hotel collection let me just see if i can make that so it's not fuzzy it's that hotel collection and it's number three pomegranate i haven't tried any of the other um scents so i'm not really sure how they smell but i can definitely recommend this one it is so nice and they also do it in like a candle form as well which i'm quite keen to get 199 you can't go wrong i think it's great for the bathroom or maybe like a living room not really in the kitchen it's too i think it's too strong for a kitchen smell but um yeah really nice this is a really quick favourites video today. I haven't got an awful lot. I just haven't really discovered that much this any new things this month and I felt it was a bit cheeky of me to put in things that I found in September because you're gonna have to wait for that one. So obviously the things that I've discovered in the last week or so, which I'm buzzing about, you'll find out in like three weeks time. So anyway, I digress again. Um, another um, thing that I picked up from Aldi was this black bean spaghetti. Now, I used to eat this a lot when I was training. <clears throat> I haven't done it in a long time. I will be soon. I'll go back to the gym. Um, I used to weight train and I don't think you can even tell anymore. I have no triceps or biceps. So I used to have this quite a lot when I used to macro food. Um, and macro food, basically you count your calories and you count your carbs, proteins, fats. I mean, you can, can you can count your micronutrients, but I never really bothered. Basically, for a quarter serving, it's 128 calories, 2.7 grams of fat, and 19 grams of protein. So that's essentially, I mean, I tend to have between 20 and 23 grams of protein per meal. So for me, I've already smashed my protein by having 128 grams of this. Okay, so another favourite of mine, I think you can all agree with me over on my instagram i have worn this jewelry so much like so much so the first thing is this little bee necklace from lily rose london it is so stunning i've also got a little choker bee necklace that to match but my sister's stolen it the joys of having it two sisters is it i'm joking i love them loads also from lily rose london i was kindly gifted at the end of august this kind of like be look at it bracelet which is absolutely stunning and then just this like slinky gold little bracelet which i've used to like layer these together but i am just loving gold at the moment i thought i was such a silver hardware girl but it turns out i like a bit of gold do you actually have a discount code for you all for lily rose london the discount code is just my name harriet and that will give you 20 percent off site wide so you can pick up these two beauties and even this if you want to for an additional 20 percent off so they are all my favorites for the month of august i hope that you like this playlist it's something that i want to keep up over time something i want to ask you guys i don't feel like i can ask this on my fashion um videos because it's non-related but as my logo and quite rightly says um fashion beauty and lifestyle I kind of want to start adding elements to beauty and lifestyle to my YouTube. I do it already on my Instagram. Probably not as much as what I should. I just wondered if you would be interested in me, and I can't believe I'm going to say this, if you would be interested in me starting to do vlogs. Silence. 
<laughs> I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie, but basically, work is starting to pick up again, and there's some really cool opportunities that are coming my way, and I wanna share them with you guys. I wanna be a bit more personal with you, so I wanna bring you along with me on my different like PR trips and stuff like that. I say PR trips like I mean like barley, I don't mean barley, I mean like shops and stores and different brands that I'm working with. So, I may be filming my first vlog next week, which should be up on either Sunday or the following Wednesday. So, if you are interested in me starting to do vlogs, as well as all the other content that I produce, please leave a nice comment in the comment section below and let me know. I mean, I'm probably going to do it anyway, but it's just nice to have that little bit of encouragement, just to kind of say, look, Harriet, you do your vlogs, we'll watch them, we'll give you like a 2 out of 10, but... Do them anyway, love. So that's just a little hint of what to expect in the coming months. And I am thinking about, and I'm I'm not 100% sure yet, I probably might be doing Vlogmas if I start to do vlogs. But I have only decided that Vlogmas will be just one day a week, so there'll be one video dedicated to Vlogmas. And I don't think it's too early to talk about Christmas because I've seen like people like Gemma Miles, um, in fact, it's just Jeremy Miles talk about Christmas already on her YouTube channel. So, oh, and Ellie Darby, I think. So I don't think I'm completely, you know, it's not out of the question for me to mention the C-bomb, is it? Christmas. I hope you enjoyed this video. The, I've kind of rambled on a little bit, but never mind. That's me. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.